Oh man, today we are seeing some progress. That's my uh, homemade sandblaster there. And you can see I'm not doing a really, really good job. There you can kind of see where I ended. I'm trying to hit the main frame here a little bit better because it is uh, pitted more than I realized. Um, just trying to scratch the surface so the paint sticks better on the other parts. Uh, that's my blaster. Uh, and uh, I'm just using some blast media. Here, I picked up the store. But I think, it, I think it's looking better. It should help the paint stick. No, I never used to. I never used to have the separator on here. I had it today. I've only done one bag, and look at how much water is in there. That's intense. I just, I just got in from sandblasting. Wash my hands. Hands, hands. Sleeve. All right, I recorded a bunch of stuff and I was wearing my mask and I had my hand over the speaker and I, you just couldn't hear it. So this is me trying to go back. Um, I used my old horrible freight gun. I had a Harbor freight gun here, a newer one. Um, I didn't use it because this one still worked pretty good. Uh, I already had the regulator on here and it was all set up. I've done a bunch of stuff. It is really gross and it leaks a bunch, but it, it did just fine. Um, I use Rust-Oleum paint. I use just a primer. I use this um, gun for it. And then I went ahead and used my airless sprayer to do the black glass top coat. And you'll see all that if you keep watching. I um, mixed everything down. I think it was four parts. Uh, Rust-Oleum, uh, mix it in this cup right here. Four parts Rust-Oleum, three parts acetone, and I put a little bit of hardener in there. I um, can't remember where that can went. I think it's in the garbage. Uh, I've never did the hardener before. I don't really know if that's necessary. Um, I'll show you. Some credentials here. Um, anything, maybe. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> All right, here you can see, this is a trailer I painted here. Same toolbox. Um, this trailer's actually pretty old. There's new deck boards on here and I painted it. So it looks newer than it is. Um, this is just, I can't remember if this is Caterpillar paint, Bobcat paint, or if it's Rust-Oleum. Either way, it's a, you know, single part paint. It's not a big deal. And let's go check out another paint job. This is definitely Rust-Oleum paint. I remember doing this. Um, so yeah, that's what Rust-Oleum will look like if you just leave it sit in the yard. Um, here you can see one of the paint jobs I did. This is just a swing I made. Uh, I stained all the wood with that same Harbor Freight paint gun. And then uh, all the metal here, I also painted. Um, I think I probably, I, I mean, I painted that before I put the wood on. But this shows really well. Like this is all, it had already been painted. And I just quickly painted over it. And you can see all the paint's peeling off. I mean, that's why it's important to sand. Um, this metal here, you know, was kind of sanded. And you can see the weld here and how, you know, the, the paint will fade. It won't chip off if you if you prepare it well, but it does fade and that's what it looks like. And the trailer looks the same too. Okay, got it all primed. You can see all the crap that fell on it throughout the night. It's been about, I don't know, 18 hours or so. Um, turned out really good. I think it's just uh, primed the horrible freight gun. And uh, I don't know if I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna paint it black next, but I think I'm gonna use an earless sprayer because I was mixing paint constantly. I 
took almost a whole gallon and to mix a gallon you know eight ounces at a time it's uh it's not very fun this time i'm going to try to use this airless paint sprayer done a lot of painting with it my barn sheds decks play sets the other things the reason i didn't use it is because it uses just a ton of paint and i thought well i got some extra black here i should have enough and i open up the can and it's got this layer of stuff to it i don't know if that's good or not but we're gonna try using that anyways paint make new look at how much better this airless sprayer is how much quicker it is just giving it now <laughs> i'll paint it most people don't paint a trailer and put a cover on it but of course it started raining there was a rainbow over there but i'm done okay here's what it looks like it's all dried it's, it's not that nice honestly it's one of the worst paint jobs i did um that uh airless paint sprayer i have it's got like i don't even know what nozzle comes with it it's the default nozzle and i've put through probably 35 gallons through that tip i've never replaced it i've never even looked to buy another one but if, if i were to do it again i'd probably get a smaller tip for that um I mean, it's good enough for the woman I married, that's for sure. And if anybody asks, I'll just say my dad painted it. Um, I'm working on putting this, I don't know, these decanals on the side here. I don't know what you're supposed to do, so don't look at me. I'm just going to put on what looks good. Some on the side. Bought a roll off Amazon, so whatever it is, I'll probably use most of it. So, I don't know, some in the back, some in the front. And yeah, I didn't end up painting the rims. I just thought it'd be too much black. I didn't want to sandblast it because I was getting tired of it. I was getting tired of painting too. Um, not to mention, I figured it'd just start rusting through anyways. I like the idea of the rims being a different color too. I bought this Savage Scissors like a while ago. I think it's for crafts, but it works amazing for this. If you're gonna do this, get one of these. I thought people might find this interesting uh, here's the primer that I used in the, um, Harbor Freight spray gun here. And this is the gloss that I sprayed on top of it. I used like three quarters of a gallon to prime. And I think I did a better job than when I used the airless sprayer. And I used almost two gallons of paint for that. And for anyone that's used the pickup tube on those great goes, it's like three quarters of an inch off the bottom, so it's a huge pain in the butt. If you are gonna use it, just, I would look for the right tip and have plenty of paint on hand. That's what I know. <sighs> These stickers are like picking up someone at the bar. You know, at first you're super particular and you know, you want what's best. And then as the night goes by and the, the day goes by, your expectations drop a little bit and then it becomes a lot more fun and gets done quicker. So my advice to anyone that's working with these is just don't be super particular because it's not worth it. I don't think this poor little guy is going to make it. I freaking looked everywhere for this chain and there it is right when I'm putting all the paint supplies away. Bet you a thousand dollars I can't find it again the next time either.